integration in itself is data. It's one system talking to another or sharing information from one system to another or using data to en enhance an experience or to make a key decision, whether that's an underwriting decision, whether that's a fraud decision, whether that's an onboarding decision. Integration software here at the bank has allowed us to really create some process efficiencies. How customers want information, how to service has been the biggest change. You know, we used to have the joke about bankers hours and, and customers had to adjust the banker hours. Now banks are adjusting to customers hours, which is you know, 24 seven, 365 days a year. And what does that technology and data access mean for that? Internally, we talk about how technology is advanced or changed, but in many cases, what we see is just additional usage of data, additional channel activity, additional areas for customers to come get information. If you rewind a little bit, you had traditional branch banking. ATMs came along, we're gonna replace the, the branches and the tellers. Um, slightly after that, you had you know, advanced IVR systems. Those IVR systems were gonna replace the ATMs and the branches. After that, you had PC banking, which was gonna replace those predecessors. Then you had mobile banking. What we've realized is that it, it doesn't replace a channel, you just continue to add on channels, but your core banking functionality is still the same. And what do you do to really integrate all that to serve the customer? you know, the information they want, when they want, where they want it, and how they want to access it. The key business use case, and it's true for all institutions, is how to tag fraud. And we started down a project to look at uh, debit and credit card fraud. We used uh, kind of the TIBCO infrastructure as a key part of, of that solution. Along with that, we were ingesting, you know, millions of pieces of data. We were analyzing that data real time and proactively alerting our customers. Again, a lot of other financial institutions do the same thing. Uh, for us, what was very interesting is the first day we sent out uh, an alert to a customer. We got calls into our call center with customers saying, thank you for looking out on our behalf. And that was within hours of the launch. Some of the data analytics, we were able to take that same information, put it on a visualization map of the United States and start to pinpoint areas of high fraud usage, which again then goes back into our overall fraud strategy. And what do we do to lessen those frauds in the long term? So this is just kind of two examples of things that at an initial trying to just combat fraud, how we were able to make some um, kind of instant or quick headway uh, into solving business problems.